Hi friends, something strange is happening with Nifty. Despite the bad and horrible budget we received last week, the market is resilient and refusing to fall. So what is that we should be doing at this time in the stock market? Should we buy more in the stock market or should we wait for the correction or should we sell now and buy the dip when there is a 5 to 10% correction? Let's find out in this video. First, let's quickly look into the chart of Nifty for the last week and try to understand exactly what happened. 20 23rd was the budget day and two days before that Nifty formed a bearish indication. This big red candle signifies a bearish engulfing pattern and everyone thought that after this candle Nifty will start moving down and it may correct up to 5 or 10 percentage. But what has happened? From the high made on Friday, Nifty has just fallen by 3 percentage. But that is intraday again and the market has just fallen on a close to close basis by just 2.5 percentage. During the budget day there was a sharp fall in the market but then it quickly recovered in the intraday and just closed 0.12 percentage down and the next day is followed by a short fall. Effectively the fall was just 1.7 percentage if you are investing in a mutual fund and on Friday there was a sharp recovery and the market closed again near all time high. It is a matter of fact that the market will easily close above this point and can easily move higher. Even though everyone predicted a major fall in the market after the budget or at least people are hoping that the market will consolidate, Nifty is very resilient and it is again moving higher. Now why is this happening? There are actually four strong reasons behind this rally. Firstly, the Nifty PE. If we go to the screener website and check the Nifty PE for the long term, we can clearly see that Nifty is not very much overvalued. In fact, it is almost fairly valued. So when you hear someone saying that Nifty is always going higher, it is somewhat overvalued, the statement is wrong. Because the earnings of the companies in Nifty 50 has gone up, which has reduced the PE and still it is remaining to be fairly valued. And the next big reason why Nifty is moving higher is because of the FIIs and DIIs. Here is the data from Motila Laswal that tells about the FIIs and DIIs activity in the Indian stock market. We can see that the FIIs here are doing some mixed buying and selling, but they seem to be a net buyers for both June and July series. But overall the FII activity is looking very confusing. For two months they buy, for again two months they sell and it is not a consistent pattern. But we we can see that on last Friday that is on 26th FII have bought around 2500 crore whereas the DA have also bought for around 2800 crore. So that is the reason behind the strong rally. We can see that the DAs are constantly buying in the Indian stock market rather than the FIIs which can be explained because of retailers like us. Because the DAs get their money from retailers like you and me. That is the SIP amounts flowing into the mutual funds. When there is so much amount flowing through the mutual funds and when these DIs receive a lot of cash they cannot simply keep it in their hands and when they see a small 2 or 3 percent correction they immediately pump in the money and hence the market is very much resilient and it is very much stable. Here we can see the mutual fund SIP inflow data. We can see that the inflows into SIP have been rising constantly for the last 12 months. And the previous month recorded the highest SIP inflow of 21,200 crore which is already a 13% increase in the 6 months in this year. So there is no doubt that we retail investors are pumping more money into the stock market either by buying direct shares of companies when the market is falling or indirectly giving our amount to the mutual fund investors in the form of SIPs. Nowadays everyone has become aware of the stock market and most of them have started investing. Your friend might also be secretly investing in the stock market without your knowledge, without telling you. Tomorrow go and ask him whether he bought during the recent dip on the budget day. But these are just two reasons. And the third point is the major reason behind the stock market rally in the previous months. It is the anticipation of the interest rate cut by the US government. And when this happens, the same effect will also be reflected in India. We can check the latest news and it says that if not in July or September, the interest rate will eventually be reduced in November or December by 25 
75 basis points and from here it is further going to be reduced in the next financial year because the inflation condition both in the US and India are becoming more stable. This is how a interest rate cut in the economy can positively impact the stock market. So if RBI decides to decrease the interest rate, the banks can borrow money from RBI at a lower interest rate and it can use this money to lend loans to public or corporates at higher interest rate. Both the businesses and individual consumers get access to cheaper loans. This can lead to increased business investment and expansion opportunities. And in the case of consumers, it is reflected in the reduced interest on loans. So that is more disposable income. So instead of paying 20,000 for an EMI, we'll pay 18,000. So the remaining 2,000 amount will become an extra disposable income. And likewise, in case of businesses, this can reflect into more sales because of expansion in production and the company can decide to give away new jobs to people and also it pays less interest amount towards the loans it has taken previously. This will lead to higher profit margin. So this will positively impact the profit margin of the company which will eventually increase the earnings per share of the company which is linked to the stock price movement. In case of consumers with that extra disposable income we may choose to replace our old fridge or mixi or may frequently go to movies or we can choose to invest on big ticket purchases because the interest rate is less like buying a car or appliances as I said before like washing machine, AC all these things will boost the overall economic growth of our country so eventually the GDP of our country grows which again is reflected in the higher stock price movement coming back to the nifty chart let's also discuss one more reason why the market should fall from here and why a 5 to 10 percent fall can make the market even more attractive here in the chart below I have plotted the RSI value of nifty we can see that whenever nifty RSI crosses a value of 75 to 80 the market is experiencing some correction it has happened in the past during many times we can see here the RSI value is around 80 and nifty has fallen by 17 percentage and during many such occasions in the past where the RSI value has moved above the 75 to 80 band it faced some short term correction so if we check the present RSI value of the nifty it is around 81 but here we cannot see any sign of reversal as in the monthly chart we can see back to back green candles but a large wick here and because of this reason as I mentioned in the introduction of this video that nifty movement is very confusing these days. So what is that we should be exactly doing? So let me give my viewpoint on nifty for the next one or two years and this is just my viewpoint and it is not a recommendation to buy or sell. I feel like nifty is in a mega bull run. Since the ruling of the BJP government started in 2014 the market has given a breakout after six long years of consolidation and during the election result on May 2014 the market has broke out from the previous high and from there it has constantly moving up. We can see that in the last 10 years the market has tripled which is roughly 14.7% CAGR over the last 10 years which is very great. So it seems like the market is liking the budget outcome. Of course it was a bad budget for the stock market participants both for traders and investors, long term capital gains tax, short term capital gain tax, removing the indexation benefit. So many bad news but still the market is going higher. So my viewpoint is that do not stop your SIPs. Continue to invest in index funds for which you can choose the broader market index which is the growth total market index or the Motilal as well nifty 500 market index where you can get the stable returns of 14 to 15 percentage and also some extra returns because of the small cap and mid cap exposure. So I expect the market to slowly steadily go up from this point. There may not be any major fall in the market like this during the 2020 but we cannot really say but it is very much unlikely but be prepared for that but we can very much expect a sideways moment anytime during the bull run rally. Here for example we can see the market has been consolidating for almost one and a half year. Maybe this can happen in the future also but it may not be over many years for 1.5 years for example maybe it can be for few months. 
like three to six months so if you are already invested in the stock market do not sell anything and wait for a correction planning to invest all that money during the dip that may not happen as we can see we are already late to the bull market rally it has started almost one year ago and now that the market has broken in the upside and become extra bullish so if you are waiting for the market to correct it may not happen and you will miss out the future rally as well we can see that not only nifty has recovered on friday but many other indices for example nifty it is also near all time high and by the way it has formed a cup and handle pattern and it index is looking very much attractive in the coming months what about nifty mid cap the nifty mid cap index also is near to its all time high and it has recovered a lot on the last friday let's also check the nifty 250 that is a small cap index we can see that the small cap index has also closed above the resistance line so it may not fall further so we can see that not only nifty the overall market has recovered from the budget intraday fall and all these indices are again near to their all time highs if you are planning to invest in any specific sector you can consider pharma it fmcg auto and consumer durables when the interest rate in the economy is cut both the rural and urban demand for products and services will gradually increase and the companies which are relevant to the sector will do better and also when the interest rate cut is implemented in the us companies which are exporting to us will will get benefited and these are the pharma and it sector and also there is one hidden sector that is the textile industry space this sector is secretly going higher in the past one or two weeks this is mainly because of the reduction in the cotton price and the values are again closer to the pre-covid levels so do watch out for the cotton and textile industry sector and do not be surprised that if these companies are giving a return of 20 or 30 percentage in the next coming months but we did not discuss about one important sector which actually facilitates the interest rate cut to the economy which is the banking sector and if you check the nifty bank it is the only sector which has respected the budget decision and after which it has fall quite a while but again we can see that it is trying to take a support near the long term trend line actually the banking space especially the private banks are really struggling and rbi on the last thursday has come up with the recent update and they made the lending process even more difficult for the banks just to give you a quick explanation we can see that rbi of india's latest guidelines asking banks to set aside a higher stock of liquid assets to meet a contingency like a potential bank run. So what it essentially means is that going forward there will be less money for the bank to lend out as loans and they need to keep aside more reserves for the loans they are dispersing. Okay let me try to explain this in a separate community post. But I feel that this is just a short term correction and moving forward in the long run the banks can become more stable and investors can get more confidence towards the bank and more investments will start flowing when the FIIs are again re-entering into the stock market which we are already seeing a positive sign so even though the budget has been really bad for investors like us and for people holding the real estates it seems that the budget is helping the overall economy when we look india as a whole and that is the reason stock market has respected the decision and has immediately recovered the losses and it is again near to the all-time high we can also check one more information during the budget that is proposed that is government has now proposed to reduce the corporate tax applicable on the foreign companies from 40 to 35 percentage this will attract more investments to our indian stock market which is a positive sign and lastly i feel all the sectors are doing really good after the budget except the banks which are slightly looking to be struggling as of now but will eventually catch up but there is one commodity that has fallen drastically after the budget guess what it is the gold we can see that on the budget day gold price has crashed by 5.5 percentage and from the high it has almost fallen by 8 percentage do let me know in the comments if it is a right decision to buy gold what do you think about this investment option i will soon make a video about the gold explaining which is better sgb or real gold please let me know in the comments what do you think about the stock market will it continue to move higher or will nifty take a pass or will we see a 5 to 10 percent correction 
election which is what i am also hoping to see but i feel again it is very difficult let's hope that happens so we can invest more in the lower levels also consider to invest in individual stocks apart from investing in mutual funds in that way you can get an opportunity to buy the exact bottom during the fall let me know in the comments about what you think about the market see you soon in the next video until then